As society looks for ways to reduce dependency on fossil fuels, production of environmentally friendly and renewable energy sources is increasing fast. Solar energy is rapidly becoming a viable alternative. The use and manufacture of photovoltaic cells has expanded dramatically. Edwards has an extensive range of vacuum and abatement products which can provide all the required vacuum expertise needed to support the processes for this fast emerging technology. World electricity production is expected to grow several times by 2050. By then, the amount generated from solar could be up to 8% of the total. And solar farms such as these, using larger and larger panels, will be commonplace. But the wider application of solar panels is dependent upon driving down the cost of the end product, and technology is key. Vacuum pumps are critical infrastructure components of solar cell manufacturing, using vacuum to maintain cleanliness or create appropriate processing conditions. They're used, for example, to enable essential processes from the formation of silicon wafers to the lamination of the end product. And for another type of solar cells, CIGS or SIGS, turbomolecular vacuum pumps are used to create the right environment in the evaporation chambers as part of the deposition process. Selecting the appropriate vacuum technology for each step and for each technology is complex, but the benefits include lowering initial costs, reducing energy consumption, decreasing maintenance requirements and increasing safety. Not only do we supply pumps into the alternative energy market, but we've concentrated on all our products being more energy efficient and having a lower utilities footprint. We've introduced similar technologies to car manufacturers' efficient dynamic programs, with, for example, pumps automatically going into standby mode. New and even larger solar cell manufacturing plants also require abatement solutions that help manage the safety and environmental risks of hazardous materials. And this gives us a major opportunity for our abatement systems as the disposal of polluting toxic gases is a real issue. And it's here where we have been innovating continually. As the sheets of glass have got bigger, the gas flows have also got larger and abatement becomes even more challenging. So we've developed even bigger products to match these flows. In addition, solar cells are now being made in countries where fuel gas, which was a key part of the abatement process, is not readily available. So we've introduced a new electronic burner technology for these markets. This new range of equipment uses no fuel gas, but treats fluorine gases at a very low cost of ownership and ticks all the boxes for manufacturers. Some countries, such as Germany, already enjoy beneficial tax regimes, which have made them very big solar panel manufacturers. Other countries are now catching up, and new legislation and new products such as this will help stimulate the market further. Solar provides a huge technology and business opportunity for Edwards, but perhaps more importantly, Edwards has a major green story within a major green story.